In this instance, we're going to create an express test. Going to the main category of assessment admin, we're going to click on create. And then, because we're choosing an express test, we're going to click on start now. We first begin by choosing our title. Now recall that titles are made up of three segments. The far left side is a descriptive name divided by an underscore. The middle section is the combined grade and subject with no space between the two. And again, separated with the final or rightmost portion with an underscore, the standard. Choosing the subject of mathematics, a grade level, a four, and recall that with a test category, my classroom means this test is only available to this teacher, not any other teacher um, in that school. If you chose shared classroom, then any other teacher in your school may see that, but not outside of your school. And in regards to hiding the item content, if this is a test I may want to use again, I'm going to say yes so the students can't see the test results. And scrolling down, one other option I'm going to turn on is saying yes to enable assessment notes. And it allows teachers and administrators to add comments of how they feel that test went. And then I'm ready to select the standards. Well, in this case, I want to choose Mathematics. And I'm going to scroll down. And notice here is the breakdown of the standards. And of real importance is to the far left the count of the number of questions in each of those standards. In my case, I want 4 in F. So I'm going to put a check mark there and then expand by clicking on the plus sign. Specifically, I'm interested in B and further categorying within 3, and then finally 3D. And so moving down to 3D, I check that box. And so as I scroll down and add those standards to the test map, it now shows me that in each of those subcategories, the number of items available, well, I'm going to choose two questions from each one. And notice it automatically adds those for a total of eight and requests that it build the express test. This takes a few minutes sometimes or a few seconds depending upon how busy SchoolNet is. And now that test has been built. I always want to make certain that I look to make certain that everything looks normal. Now right now it appears that these particular images are not showing up. So what I'm going to do is something must be wrong, and I see it's not aligned. So I'm going to go on ahead, and I'm going to delete that one from the test. Takes a few seconds. And now that one has been deleted from the test. And I would proceed to do the same thing, looking for additional items and making certain I like that particular test. And because I had deleted the seventh item, if you wanted to make an additional one, I could request to add a test item. Or a suggestion is, if you know you want an eight question test, perhaps ask for more questions than you want and delete the ones you least like until you get the count. But in this case, I'm ready to schedule this test or you note can also preview the test online. But in my case, I'm going to take this from the private draft to ready to schedule with a warning that says once I do this, there's no further editing unless, of course, I were to copy this test and edit the copy. I'm going to click OK. And now this test is ready for scheduling.